James Doyle here. I'd like to invite you to follow me on my journey to learn from race car drivers, builders, and CEOs of today's automotive industry on what tomorrow's technology will bring. Cars are awesome! Hey, I'm here with my buddy Wolfgang, and he gave me this amazing swaggy hat. How are you, Wolfgang? Fantastic, James. How are you? I'm good, thanks. So, tell me about your experiences working with Jaguar. My experience actually started a long, long time ago, when I was probably your age. Um, my first, uh, my beloved little matchbox car was a Jaguar E-Type, the most beautiful car probably ever designed. So that's how my love to Jaguar started. And now I've been working here in Canada for Jaguar and for Land Rover for the last two years. And it's been fantastic. We are launching great new cars. We are growing and we are a very successful company. So tell us about this beautiful electric car as Jaguar moves into the future. Yeah, it's our first battery electric vehicle, the Jaguar I-Pace. Uh, it's a gorgeous design, as you already mentioned. The cabin is moved very much forward, like almost in a sports car or a mid-engine car, um, because the battery uh, concept allows you to reconfigure the car differently because you don't have an engine underneath the hood anymore. So designers and engineers can move a little bit around. Um, it has space for five passengers inside, probably the same size as a Jaguar F-Pace, but the acceleration like a Jaguar F-Type. Now for, ze uh, for the zero to 60 time for this car, what would you estimate that that is? Very fast. <laughs> It will be probably in the range of the F-Type, which means something around four seconds from zero to 100. We have together a combined um, performance of 400 horsepower and the torque, that is actually what really moves you forward, is insane in this car, over 500 pound-feet of torque. Yeah, wow. Yeah, sports car performance, yeah. huh? <laughs> I, I bet you that it must be loud. Oh wait, I forgot, it's electric. <laughs> You're completely right. So, tell us what is Jaguar doing for range anxiety? Because a lot of people are too nervous to buy an electric car just because if they want to go up north 200 miles, they're nervous of running out of charge. I think the best thing to, to take the anxiety away is to put a lot of range into the car. Um, with the Jaguar I-Pace, we estimate when the car is then on sale this summer, the range will be roughly 380 kilometers, maybe a little bit more. So I think that already takes a lot of anxiety for people away. You can now plan longer trips than before. However, if you plan a trip, let's say for five or 600 kilometers, then what you do is you plan a little bit ahead. You drive your 400 or 300 kilometers and then you charge again a little bit because you don't have to charge it then fully just to finish your trip. And I think that will cover most of the needs of our customers. Would you say that range anxiety is the reason to why a lot of people buy gasoline-powered vehicles instead of electric vehicles? I believe it's a combination. The, the first one is also price, obviously. You know, at the time being, for the time being, battery electric vehicles are a little bit more expensive than gasoline engines. You have, of course, a situation at the moment where gasoline at the pump is relatively cheap. You have a new technology which is which means change and for a lot of people that is you know increasing anxiety you have the range the future is battery it's hybrid or battery electric vehicle we will see i think in the transition you will have a lot of different types on the road till we are completely 100 percent battery electric that's more probably when when you're a little bit older and in, in driving age yeah so this car as i've heard has two motors so tell me a little bit about that. Yeah, that's correct. Um, you know, theoretically, obviously, you could put in even four motors. Um, the uh, electric concept gives you a lot of flexibility. But what we did is, because we wanted to have an all-wheel drive car, we put in two motors. One that drives the front axle and one motor that drives the rear axle. Okay, that's pretty cool. Now tell me about rapid charging for this car. Rapid charging, yeah, I think, you know, if you have something like a 100 kilowatt charger, you can charge this car 80% roughly in 45 minutes. Wow, that's yeah. pretty fast. That's very fast, yeah. <laughs> and um, when you're doing something that is 
for a distance trip, as you said earlier, 600 mi- uh, or 600 kilometers, and that's perfect, right? Oh, completely. What would you say is some of Jaguar's best achievements for 2017? Oh, where to start? I mean, look, here in Canada and also worldwide, we had sales records, which means we are doing something right because customers love our cars. They come, they buy our cars, and, and that's ultimately why we are in business. Um, I think the biggest achievement in 2017, the launch of the Jaguar F-Pace, our first SUV. I think there's nothing like that on the road. And if you have a look at the F-Type sports car, you see a lot of cues that our yeah. designers used from the sports car and really created a sports utility vehicle. The I-Pace, very important last year. And we are also launching now on the Land Rover side, we are launching yeah. um, uh, hybrid vehicles with the Range Rover and the Range Rover Sport. So tell us a little bit about what you and guys here at Jaguar are doing with Formula E. Oh, I'm glad you asked that because we now just started our second season in Formula E, uh, which is fantastic. A lot of other manufacturers are now following, so we can really compete against the best of the best. And in our second season, we are doing already much, much better than in the first season. Uh, it's, it's the same as everywhere, no? like hockey. I mean, you practice, you practice, you get better, or in yeah. school. Um, the same with us. We practiced last year in Formula E. Now this year we are much better. We are at the moment overall in fourth position. Uh, we are very happy with that. And I think it, it's the right step for Jaguar to go into this kind of racing series because that's the future. Well, battery electric uh, vehicles will be around to stay and uh, you have to show how good you are on a race track. pretty cool. So if you're a person that's interested in electric vehicles, then go to this to go to Jaguar's website where they'll have wonderful answers and they'll answer your questions about electric vehicles. So so thank you so much Wolfgang for James, uh, where, thank you. for gi- giving me this time. It is an honor to meet. No, you. it was so my much. pleasure. Thank you.